What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel and if you are new, welcome. My name is Meg. I do put up videos a couple times a week so if you're not subscribed already, perhaps you'll consider doing so and when you are subscribed, my new content will be in your news feed. So today I have a little bit of a demo first impression review for you guys on some oval brushes. I know that these were all the rage in 2016. My lazy ass just to get around to doing this before the year ended, so I'm doing it for you guys now. Um, a company called My Makeup Brush Set reached out to me a few months ago, asked if I was interested in trying some product that they were going to send to me, and I said, sure, why not? So that is what we are doing today. They did send me their oval brush range, and then they were also nice enough to send me some of their other brushes, which I will probably end up doing a separate video on. Um, but today the focus is on the oval brushes, so I'm just going to go through the collection and what's included. So the biggest brush, this is labeled as a powder brush. It is very large. These are extremely dense. Um, I washed them before using them. And yeah, they take a long time to dry. And I can imagine with product in them, it would be almost difficult to wash the product out. But next up is this blush brush. So here I'll hold these up so you can see the sizes and the difference. So this is pretty large for a blush brush. And then next up is the foundation brush, which I find interesting that it's smaller than the blush brush. And then the last of the bigger oval ones is, I believe, a concealer brush. So these are the main base brushes that you could use powder or cream product with and we will see how those work out. Moving along to the smaller sizes, we have a lip brush, and honestly, I can't imagine using a lip product on this, but I have like really thin lips, so maybe people with bigger lips would benefit from it. I'm not a big believer in using brushes like only in the way that they're labeled as. Like honestly, I know I'm not gonna ever use this for lip product, so I will find a different use for it. Then the other two ovally <laughs> brushes is this eyeshadow brush. Very thin and long. And then also this eyebrow brush. Pretty similar to the eyeshadow brush, about half the length. By the way, sorry if you can hear my animals in the background, they're going crazy. And then there's these two more circle shaped brushes and this is a nose brush and a concealer brush. Oh, and I almost forgot one. This is an eyeliner brush. All right, so that is all the brushes that come in their oval brush kits. So let's go ahead and get to trying these out. I got a lot of redness to cover up, so let's see how this works. Huh. Interesting. You can already tell with these brushes that it may be streaky depending on the foundation. See, I, oh, I just don't like the way that this stuff like applies the product. <laughs> I feel like it was doing a good job and now it's just kind of like streaking it around. So this side I am just gonna go ahead and apply it with a dampened beauty blender because it does look like there's going to be enough product. So just to sort of compare the two sides. See, I like this. This is so much more flawless than this. Ugh, I don't know. See, I feel like the beauty sponges just really like helps get the product into your skin and makes it look more natural. Whereas like these oval brushes are just kind of like pushing the product around on my face. And I feel like I'm not really getting that great of a coverage with it. <sighs> All right. So I have the product applied. Um, I am just going to go ahead and buff out certain areas with the sponge because I don't know how well the camera is going to show, but 
my nose area is a hot freaking mess. So it just, I don't know. I feel like the oval brush just didn't very, like apply it very evenly. Yeah, not a fan of the oval brush for foundation. You know, maybe with these brushes, it would help if I read things, but this big one is actually a powder brush. And this was the foundation brush, but I still feel like they're the same density. So I feel like the product would have done the same thing. All right, so for my concealer, I am going to use this concealer brush. And then again, I'm gonna stick to the same thing. I'm gonna use the sponge on this side and the brush on this side. So the concealer I'm using today is a Tarte Shape Tape, and this is in Fair. I feel like my skin's been almost too dry for this product lately, but we'll see. All right, here's the hoping that the concealer goes better than the foundation. Again, I feel like you just really can't blend well with these brushes when you're applying product. Like, it doesn't get into the very inner corner as you can see right there, and like the application just looks sloppy. Like, I'm not really sure what else I'm supposed to be doing, because right now I just feel like I'm just moving product around in my face, and I'm actually taking product away, and it's just getting more streaky. So, concealer brush didn't work out as well as I had hoped. <laughs> Oh, am I really this dependent on freaking sponges? I don't know, I guess I am. Beauty sponges has seriously just like really changed the game for makeup though. Like, I can't even imagine going back to even like my favorite foundation brushes. What do you guys prefer? Are you guys like beauty sponge addicts like me or do you prefer the brush method? And if you found a way to get oval brushes to work for you, leave me tips in the comments because I'd love to know. I just feel like you can't beat that. It just blends it out so flawlessly. So I'm not even gonna show you guys with the sponge on the side because you basically just saw it. And obviously the sponge won again. Now that I'm back and looking slightly more human with the eyebrows, there is an eyebrow do or the <laughs> the there is an eyebrow brush in here, so I'm gonna set my brows using this. I can't really imagine using a pomade on this. That would just be terrifying. This is so weird. Okay, so thoughts on that, that was definitely different. Um, I can't say that I loved it. I still prefer my angled brush. Um, with a lot of these brushes, I feel like they would be better for other things than what they're labeled for. I know I personally don't really follow brushes and use them as what they're labeled as. Next! Alright, so I am going to apply a little bit of a cream contour. And to do so, I'm actually going to use the lip brush because it seems like it would work best. So for cream contour today, I'm actually gonna use one by Tarte from the Tarteus Pro Glow Palette. If you'd like a review, there is one, so check it out, look out for it. There should be links down below. Future self, remember to put those links down there. But this is their cream contour in the color shade. I actually used this brush in my first impressions for that, so I know not to use a ton of product. We'll see if I learn from my mistakes. It looks like I might have learned. In that video, I actually didn't think that this brush was that bad for the cream contour. Um, I didn't think it did a horrible job of applying it. I just feel like with these brushes though and how dense they are, product just kind of moves around everywhere. That was a mistake. That just totally disrupted all of my foundation. Ah. Beauty sponge fixes. It just looks like it erased the foundation that was up there. That makes me nervous to blend this out, but I mean, I'll go for it. Mm -hmm. 
I'm actually gonna try the foundation brush and just see if it will blend it nicely since there's not any product on, on here. I feel like it blended it, but at the same time, I feel like it also just like picked up and disrupted my base. So far, I'm just really not a fan of these ovaly type brushes for cream and liquid products, but let's go ahead and move on. All right, so for nose contour, I'm actually gonna use this eyeliner brush, and I'm gonna take the powder shade from that palette, which is called Sculpt, and let's see how this goes. Oh, look, a no shadow brush. So I'm going to use that to try to buff it out because I felt like that was just taking a long time to sort of blend out. Like there has to be a good use for these brushes. I hate putting up videos that are negative. Like I didn't like the product, but I also want to be honest with you guys because like these were sent for me to test them out and I'm just not really loving them, honestly. All right, so I tried fixing it with the powder and using this Morphe M435 brush. I feel like that line though from the cream product never really blended out and went away and I don't know how I necessarily feel about it because to me, all I see right here is a line. <laughs> um, it doesn't look as noticeable on camera as it is in person, luckily, but let's go ahead and try out the blush brush, which looks like this, humongous. And I'm just gonna take a sort of neutral blush here. This is by Neutrogena. This is our Healthy Blend Blush. So we got product up in there. And let's see how this applies. Maybe I should use a blush that would actually, oh, I can see some of it. All right, I can see it in the mirror. It's noticeable. As far as blush goes, I can't say I hate it. So <laughs> I actually like this brush for blush. All right, so the blush, actually, I'm happy with. It went on pretty well. Um, the only other thing that I can think to say about these, oh, I hate not being positive, but um, they're just so dense. They're kind of a pain in the butt to wash because I did wash it before I used it. And I can't imagine trying to like get all the powder that's built up in here out, let alone all the cream product from foundation and concealer and cream contour, all of that out. So it just seems like, I don't know, an inconvenience to wash these too. I'm trying so hard to find good things to say. So another unfortunate thing to say about these oval brushes is because they're so dense, if you do use powder products, it really gets the product super powdery and messy. Guys, I wanted so badly to really like these brushes, but I just, oh, I don't think I can. Like this is an eyeshadow brush. Like in what way am I gonna be applying eyeshadow with this? I mean like, it just, it's so large. Am I missing something? I feel like I have to be missing something here. And then this is an eyeliner brush. I can see that being an eyeliner brush, but it would also be super thick eyeliner. I can also see this eyeliner brush working well if you have a hard time with wings, so using it to shape, but again, it would be so thick though. I don't know you guys, I tried really hard to like these. Um, if you have the ones to buy my makeup brush set, let me know how you got along with them. But uh, let me know if other brands are better. Let me know if I like somehow completely messed up the application and like didn't apply this properly. Uh, yeah, so. And I know I stated like several times, I really hate putting up negative reviews, but they were sent to me for a review. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know my thoughts on them. <sighs> um, so 
This is probably gonna go up even later because I have another foundation review where I wasn't the biggest fan of it and it's just kind of been sitting there because I don't like posting these. But anyways, uh, let me know what you guys think about oval brushes and if you haven't seen some of my other videos, they're linked above, below, somewhere, everywhere. <laughs> Check them out and then also in the down bar are my social media links where we can chat in other places and there's also discount codes. So anyways, I hope you guys found this review somewhat helpful and useful and thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Bye guys.